Hey everybody, it's Michael here with GoodyReader.com. Today I'm going to give you an overview of Google 4.0 or Ice Cream Sandwich as demonstrated on Acer Iconia A100. Most markets are being pushed the update right now and you can do it via Wi-Fi. And what I recommend is to hit the settings menu and do an update search. Most of the time you'll be pushed one update which will bring it up to a later version of Google Honeycomb and then once you do another update after that, it'll actually bring it to Ice Cream Sandwich. Let's just show you the new update here. Uh, as you can see, here's the latest build. Image version, build number, everything like that. I really like the new update on the Acer Iconia. I find that it makes it a little bit more responsive. Not that it was sluggish by any means before. Some of the new updates is a new apps menu. You can kind of see that it has a new animation. And once you run out of apps, you can put the widgets here. So it's just uh, We'll add the widget right here. There you go. Very painless. It actually has some opacity to it. And then you have the default widgets here on the main screen. There's a growing number of list of apps that are actually optimized for Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, right now, Flash is the main one that you want to get. The gallery has also been updated. So you can see here kind of a list that when you move it, pictures actually move. So that's uh, the new gallery. What I like about this overall is everything's super fast and programs seem to load up a little bit faster. There is some people that have updated it and found out that their unit is bricked. Don't know much about that. It, for us it was a pretty seamless upgrade. Of course, with the Acer Iconia, you have full access to the Google Play Market, which are one of the benefits. For a tablet now that you can get under $200, it's certainly a pretty good investment. What I like about it is the camera, LED flash, full camera, and then you have a camera here to talk to people. Uh, one of the cool features is that it has uh, Adobe, it has Dolby sound. And this is uh, one of the really kind of cool things that more tablets should be getting soon. Microsoft and Dolby actually formed a bit of a partnership. And what this will actually allow you to do is in subsequent releases of Windows 8 tablets, you'll actually be able to get a little bit better quality audio, which you'll hear no complaints from me. One of the things uh, that tablets is they've evolved in, in terms of resolution, in terms of processing power. You have a lot of tablets now with NVIDIA Tegra 3 chips, you have quad core, and, and many different tablets on the market right now. Sound and audio quality has never really been a huge priority, and I really hope that it does. You can see that the settings menu here has undergone a, big, a little bit of a revision. You can long press show you the keyboard with ICS. Not much has really changed, but it is a little bit more responsive. One of the things that I like about an Android keyboard versus say the iPad and iOS is in many cases when you hit the capital key, nothing happens. Whereas with Google when you hit the shift key to get capital letters, you actually see capital letters, lowercase letters. You actually don't see that on the Apple iPad, which gets very irksome. Uh, so overall, I like kind of the new animations, and this is found basically with uh, Acer. If you have a tablet that doesn't have access to Google Play, you can uh, download our own Goodie Reader App Store. 
you can see it's pretty well a who's who of the best apps in the marketplace. We don't have millions of apps, but we do have pretty high quality apps. Again, there's two updates for ICS for the Acer Kanye A100. I give it a firm thumbs up. It's much more responsive. It's much more fluid. And any upgrade on a tablet is certainly a good upgrade. I haven't noticed anything game breaking in terms of sound, picture quality, using the webcam, shooting video, or launching any types of apps. So upgrade as soon as you can. For goodyreader.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care.